Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. It's a Thursday morning and I'm at USS Nagoya checking some cars uh, for some customers that are coming up for auction tomorrow. And this uh, Toyota Hiace is one of them. Uh, this is for the USA market. Um, this is a, obviously it's an X fire truck. It's only done 8,000 Ks. It's 1992. Um, I'll check the bull date when I get um, back into the office tonight and let you know. Um, it's a four-wheel drive 2.4 diesel and it's rather a nice clean truck as well. Now the idea of buying these, like this one here doesn't have the pump or anything like that, it's already been sort of removed and that, so it's more of a gear carrier, um, I don't know, for the fire department. But the idea of these is you get rid of the tray okay you put a flat deck on it with drop sides or whatever and then you've got a real low K nice condition four-wheel drive um, truck and obviously the fire trucks are well looked after by the fire brigade um, you know they're serviced they're, they're um, garage stored I suppose is the easiest way to put it um, but like I say they're well serviced uh, for obvious reasons all the fire trucks were originally white and have been colour changed to red. So when you look inside, you'll notice that inside the doors here are white. But they've colour changed inside here, you see. So all in here has been done. Show you the engine bay and then we'll switch her off. It's nice and clean in here. The water's good, um, oil's good as well, from what I can see. So we'll switch that off and drop that down. Just to show you that it starts easy. not easy. And it latches down the bottom here. And over there as well. Okay, seats are perfect. No tear, no um, discoloration, no wear. Dash is good. Just got a couple of screw holes up here. The glove box is the original radio. Floor mats all nice and good. Door panels all good. Same again, the doors are wide at the bottom. You can do, yeah. You know, some people have bought these and obviously they've colour changed them back to white or you can leave it as red. Uh, seat in here is all good, you've got seat belts, you've got the rear window that opens. Okay, the rear seat lifts up, you've got the jack over there. It's really nice in here actually, really nice and tidy. Got a little bit of a storage thing here. The hood lining's perfect. Okay. Okay, these have manual locking hubs, which is good. Um, tire size on them is 15 inch. You need to watch with your trucks. Um, any of the light trucks that you're buying, you've got to make sure the tires aren't 15 and a half inch. Uh, because 15 and a half inch tyres are available in Japan but very very hard to get elsewhere okay, now they look similar in the photos to 15 and 16 inch and you must make sure you, the truck that you're buying doesn't have 15 and a half inch wheels otherwise uh, 
it can become a big problem in the aspect of let me try and explain this to you when you have a 15 and a half inch rim and you try and put a 15 inch rim on it it won't cover the the rim is not big enough to clear the, the brake um, uh, caliper now if you go to if you decide to put a 16 inch rim on it then what happens is you become too close here okay when turning and trust me I've been here many 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 times we used to export a lot of trucks to Australia and um, so I've been here many times and I know exactly what the problems are spare that in mind like on here they've had um, Japanese writing okay for the fire department now see you might be able to see they've put a tape over this piece here and I've been picking at it there just see and it's actually easy to get off so what you do is peel that off okay, and then um, sometimes if you use GIF I don't know if you have GIF in the US or Canada or whatever it's like a bath cleaner just use that on here on the white because this will be white under here and you can normally get this writing off okay. not guaranteed but um, it's worked a few times with the stuff we've done to Australia okay. I've got a couple of holes up here in the guttering which would have been for the, the light uh, light bar I'll just jump up here and see what the roof's like yeah, the roof's good no dents it's not faded either like for export what we do is this here is the height of the cab okay. as you know when you pay for shipping shipping's done by per cube meter so it's measured up width and length so all the space here you're paying shipping on even though there's nothing there except these bars now in the case of this truck see the, the top piece here goes higher so you're going to pay shipping for all that along here up the top here to this point here to the same height as the canopy now that canopy is worth not it's worthless you know so these bars come out so I'll, what I'll do is I'll take those out so it drops it down and it'll get the shipping down cheaper for you Um, much else to tell you really it's really nice actually around you know it's got a couple of little scratches here see it's here here paint chips you know a couple of little scuffs on the corner of the bumpers mirrors are all good you know they're not faded they're not cracked here this is normally where they crack okay this one's still good and strong it's not brittle or anything You know, naturally you can leave it as a fire truck if you want, but um, yeah, like I say, normally most of the guys will get rid of that and put a tray on there. We'll just uh, jump in the front here. Ignition. Okay, here's your auction sheet there, grade 4, 8,912 Ks. Various stuff about the body to worry about. The seat here is perfect. You'd expect, you know, at 8,000 Ks. Okay, it's nice and clean up under here. Sometimes they rust a little bit down up under there. All the dash is good, it's not gone discoloured or faded. You've got a service sticker there. Okay, 7,799 Ks. We'll just jump in. It's your heater controls, there's no air con. It's like a, like a choke. Well, it's not a choke, it um, brings up the revs. Some people call it cruise control. Okay, um, 
dash is all nice. There's no dust in behind here. So with a lot of your trucks, you get dust in behind. You know, look dusty in here. It's all good. So light for your front fog lights. Obviously indicators, headlights, wipers. You've got intermission for wipers. Five speed and the gear levers. You know, look at it. I just see the fireman sitting there every week cleaning this, you know. You know what they're like. They're pedantic there. Okay, um, on your uh, four-wheel drive, you've got high two-wheel drive, high four-wheel drive, and high low. Uh, sorry, low four-wheel drive. Can we just fire it up again? Um, sun visor up here is good, you know, it's probably just getting a little bit, bit st stuck, you know, trying to move it back. But it's actually not faded or anything. Or do. I'm just wind the window down a bit on this side. Just get, we'll just go for a little drive, eh? Just make sure everything's right on it. So I'm just taking off in um, second gear, which you can do in these. Yeah, this thing just drives like brand new. Obviously this is not a proper test drive, you know, but it's not bad. I won't go too far, because uh, you're technically not meant to be doing this. So yeah, no, it's driving well. Obviously I'm eating second gear, I haven't got out any gears or anything like that, but uh, yeah. Can't go too fast up here, not during the day, you know. You get now I've got to try and find where I got it out of. <laughs> it's a little bit hard do, doing a drive with a manual and holding the camera too, so. It's the hole I got it out of. I can just jump out and I'll give you a quick once more around it and then I'll put it away. So, that's your two, uh, 1992 Toyota High Ace 2.4 diesel, four wheel drive, uh, five speed, fire truck and 8,000 kilometers. Okay guys, I will uh, email you tonight and that was lot number 40357 and that's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. See you later.